straighten the legs, lower the hands, circle the arms up, inhale. Press the palms down, exhale. Okay, so I'd like to do a repeat of what we did Monday, so let's go ahead and run the whole 108. Um, again, not trying to blow the legs out, just to, just to get them moving and continue to warm up. And then we'll uh, review or ask, answer any questions on a grace pipe or turn to mountain. Let's get through those repeats and start working at fist under elbow. That sounds all right with everybody? Yes, um, ma'am. All right. Uh, did you do names or not for the whole 108? Second section. You did names for the second section? Or wait, I'm going to ask you, so is that what you did? Okay. How about third? Some. 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 <laughs> I think if you sell people. Wavering yes, to determine name does needed. <laughs> Got it. the bird's tail. Diagonal single lift. Keep going. Follow Mr. Swain.
take a whip. Brush knee, punch down. Turn around, strike with back foot. Hidden hand punch. Strike with heel, right. Tiger, left. Hit the tiger, right. Strike with heel, right. Box the tiger here. Strike with heel. Draw and push. Cross hand. Right side to return to Continue.
transition to cloud. Rooster stands on left leg. Golden Rooster stands on right leg. For both monkeys. One. Oh, it was just a 
clever way to fit in to help you think of the structure. It wasn't fun, but I'm glad it was helpful. Appreciate it. Sure thing. Okay. Uh, the brace type is <coughs> now. I've heard you got a lot of practice on that. Any questions about it? No? May I see it, please? So start from cross hands. And begin, embrace tiger, return to the mountain. Reset. Two more times, please. Thank you. And begin, embrace tiger, return to the mountain. So before we add that on, everybody move about 40 squares that way, please. Perfect. Thank you. All right. And so get back into the end of diagonal single whip. And is there anybody here that this move is brand, brand, brand spanking new, never seen fist under elbow before in your whole, whole life? OK, I didn't think so. All right, so repeat. Um, just to check in with the feet, the foot, good foot placement in the end of the diagonal single lip will help you get into fist under elbow. So, um, you know, I'm on the line here. Just to review, the toe of my right foot is basically on a line with the arch of my left foot, and I'm at a 45. Um, it's always going to feel weird, but if you take it and go straight towards the front, or you know, on on the grid, it's exactly the same. But when you do this, it feels weird. So, but here we are. First thing we're going to do is we are going to shift back. And now you're going to find out if you step too far, 
device that's too far, bring it back in. Now my whole body, arms included, torso, everything, is going to move that way as a set. So, follow me, turn. My weight is still on this back leg. I'm gonna continue turning. I'm gonna shift into the left foot, strike with my feet on the right, and notice my right heel has come up. Now, I'm gonna bend my right elbow so that my fist comes down. It's gonna come down, and as it comes up, it's gonna pick up this right foot. And it's going to pound and step. Then I'm gonna shift into that right foot. Fist is going to lower a little bit. I'm gonna step through with the left and end up elbow on top. Yep, okay, reset. Shift and move the whole body. Shift and turn some more. Strike with the beak, lift the right heel, lower the fist, pick up the right foot and step. Continue stepping through, left elbow on top of right fist. And everyone's got the heel. Yep. Uh, you'll be on the back foot, Mr. Payne, with the toes up on the left foot. Yep, yep, yep. One more time. that knee collapses. Okay, round it up. Continue turning. Release the right heel. Lower the fist. Pick up the right foot and step. Continue stepping. Left elbow on the right fist. Good. Finish. Take a look at it. Switch places with me. Just like this one. All right. Uh, probably that side. Underneath, kind of comes up. Mm -hmm. And then everybody does a trick where it kind of yeah. picks up the knee a little bit. 
All right, let's try a couple more times, and then we'll talk a little bit. Questions? Yes? Of course. Did you guys just have a question? When did, when did it turn from a beak into a fist? Did ah. it just come back in? It is, as it lowers, it comes to a hammer fist. Okay. Uh -huh. Yeah, so it's striking. We'll talk more about it when we get to the application. It's a strike, hammer fist, and then it's an arm lock. Mm -hmm. So I think about it as it's a beak until it lowers, and then it comes out that way. Uh -huh. So here, and then just bend the elbow, yeah. and let it, let it change its, its circle, its direction. Oh, right here, and then down, and over. Yep, yep. Okay. Question. Yes? In the application, it would be the back of the wrist? Correct. The wrist. That's correct. Okay. Yep. This is, um, whether it's in Kung Fu or Tai Chi, well, I mean, Tai Chi is Kung Fu, but this is a pretty strong surface. This is not. And this is not. So it's you know, it, it's uh, hitting with this, which is a pretty, like, the nerves are all protected. You won't get any of those, like, electric zingers, you know, if you hit something with the, with the back of your wrist. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yep. All right. Let's do it two or three more times together, and then we will take a stab at the application. It's a little bit goofy. I mean, it's a great application. It's just a little bit tricky to, to communicate and learn. All right. Here we go. And again, fist under elbow. Shift, full body turn. Turn, step, and step. Mm -hmm. Two more times. Make more sense? Is that better, Miss Garcia? Yeah. Good. Okay. Of course you can. Well, I mean, we, it, when we tweak what we call it, it's when we do, like I said, I wrote the group on the green tag, it's probably a little bit different. Yeah, it was just kind of come over here. Yeah. Yeah, so it, it, it became a little more wing chunky. Yeah, so okay. um, the application will make more sense when you see that, like how. Because the videos um, on the broadcast testing is one of the old videos. Okay. And then the numbers are off your sequence. The what? The numbers. Uh, I'll tell you what. Okay. All right. Who's done this application before? I've seen it. You've seen it? Okay. I mean, I bet you've seen it. I would be very surprised if you got to Brown and not having a seat. I'm, I'm sure I've seen it. I just don't remember. Sure. And then, yeah. I imagine so. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Allegedly. Yeah. Okay. So, um, this one, as the Oogie, is, can be a little bit challenging. I just kind of wish I had senior head instructor big hair because he, he and I we were good tag team Oogie demonstrators. Um, so, I talked a little bit about it before we actually pair off and, and try it. And again, take care of yourselves. If you want to do a no contact version of it, that's fine. If you're okay with your partner, that's fine. I know we're all in different stages of vaccination and whatnot, so totally take care of yourself. This is not me like, partner up, touch people. I don't mean that <laughs> at all if that does not feel right. Um, okay, so what this is, it is. He's locked, he's gonna come this way. He's not coming in ever again. He's like fully going back to the I'm just teasing. Dude, I'm just teasing. I'm totally just teasing you, right? No, it's the first time I forgot my mask in here in a while. Oh, I thought you were like, okay, and you're like, I am so happy. I'm like, you're really well. <laughs> but if you get suited up and don't mind doing a quick movie for fist under elbow, I would 
all. Appreciate it. But take your time, no rush. Um, so what it is is it is a left punch. Here I am, left punch. Don't get hit. Block. By doing this, if I punch with my left, you can visualize it, that's gonna turn me this way because that pushes me over here, exposing the back of my head. Don't get hit. Strike. Back of the head. And then now shoulder is kind of happening here. This foot comes up, takes their knee out, puts them on the ground. This way. Okay. Um, so you're not like breaking a knee, you're just putting them on the ground. Then this becomes an arm bar. So I've put them on the ground, shoulder, the fist that punched is now turned up, and I end up in an arm bar. Very hard to, vis to visualize, so that's why I'm like, the partner who's done it, it makes it helpful to see. Then again, it's don't get hit, strike. This now becomes the back of the shoulder, Knee then puts them on the ground. Then this becomes your volume to wrench. Do you mean that foot to knee bend? If you're bending your opponent's knee? Yes, I'm putting okay. them on the ground. Yeah. It's like a kickstand. Just like trying to make sure I was get down on the ground. Understanding that. Yep. Don't get hit. Back of the head. Shoulder check. Knee. Get on the ground. And there's actually a little arm bar that happens here. So for the form, it's this. It might be a little of this in a, with your partner. Make sense? Will that be the left or the right? Or just, just the left punch. The left punch, okay. Uh-huh. You want to move? Oh, okay. okay. All right, so you can just put your left hand out. So here, 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 here. Ah, yeah. Um, <laughs> there. <laughs> right? I'm sorry. Thank you. No, you're good. You're good. So it's, and, and like you heard, ah, it doesn't take much. Right. Uh, so if I were being my yeah, own... she went way further than I thought that she was going to go. I was like, <laughs> <laughs> right. Right. And we all know about tapping out, right? We know about like, this is a stop button. You listen for your partner. They'll either tap on themselves or on you. If I were being my imaginary thing, I'd punch. Huh. And then it gets me up here, and I would tap out. Wouldn't your other knee be down? Probably, but I'm not feeling like going down right now. Oh, okay. <laughs> and it may or may not, depending on the movie. Like, if my foot is here, which one are you going to have access to? It's which, you know, if you're just trying to get your person on the ground. Does that make sense? Do you mind? You can. No, you can excuse me. No, that's all right. I don't mind. I will be your attacker. You're helping me out. I'm not going to put you on the floor. <laughs> All right. But I like it. <laughs> yep. There it is. Wow. You never thought that's what that move was, right? No, I never <laughs> did. Never. <laughs> never. never. So what did you fist of your touching your arm? Hmm? When you're putting your fist of your touching their arm, holding their arm down. It's like a shoulder check. Watch again. Okay. <laughs> Back of the head. Okay. Takes my knee out. Ah, I see. And then it can be shoulder, elbow, somewhere. Oh, okay. It's the leverage on my arm. Does that make sense? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> that could hurt. Yeah, I, could, I was wondering where, this, where does the fist come in, but it's yeah. the shoulder. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. At ease. Thank you. All right. Um, we don't really have time to partner up, so when I want, we'll, we'll pick up with this one next week. So let's practice that move, and if you can, kind of visualize it, and I'll talk you through what's happening with your invisible opponent, okay? All right, so. And maybe next week we'll let you actually do the application for the right side return to mountain. I know we practiced it in day class, but I don't want you to feel wrong, so we'll have to say. All these, uh, are you kicking us during this section, or this time, is, uh, or yes, these two, these two definitely are. Yep. All right, so diagonal kick away. And left punch, rock back, don't get hit. Turn, you block that strike. Continue turning, back of the head. And then whether it's shoulder, upper arm, now take, taking control of that, take their knee out, put them on the ground, step forward, 
Farm box. Yep, one more time. Can you do the operation? Can you like be facing us and just turn to me? Sure. I don't know if that will work, but it might be something like that. Guys, we'll take a whip. Uh, we do get your own. That works perfect for lip counters because I see it back from the I'm not going to punch you. I'm just going to let everyone know we're here. Hmm? All right, so left punch. Don't get hit. And then strike back of my neck from the head. I know you're not matching that. Too. Now step through. You're going to take my knee out. Down I go. And step through and bar my arm. Okay, yes, ma'am. Yep. Yeah, this one, this one you really have to kind of see, like, what? That has nothing to do with the fist. <laughs> no, it's very much like ripping an arm out of something. And on this one, you do have to be careful because you, it doesn't take much for you to like, whoa, ow, yeah, I feel that. So we will practice it with partner next week. Fair so enough. the last part, you do have to, it doesn't seem to me that you step forward when you bring in the arm. Well, the weight's always gonna, it's gonna be on that back foot, okay. right? So again, my weight stays here. This just helps me get that leverage on their arm. And when there is a body here, your foot may change its position a little yeah. bit. It may not be exactly like the form, but you're not gonna step forward and shift into that. You're gonna stay on that back foot. If she would have gone all the way into the form, I would have dislocated my shoulder. Yeah, his arm would be like in a lump, and I'd be yeah. calling EMS. Oh, I see that. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so to finish it, you would do you would step you forward would send and bring the arm Yes, but <laughs> you would, okay, now it makes sense. But you wouldn't put your weight into that. You're still on that back leg. And remember, fist under elbow. You're here. Yes. But depending on where that person is, you may not be able to step much further than this. Or this. Yeah. It's going to vary depending on where they are in your space. Make sense? Okay. Yes. All right. We will get to practice it next week, but let's do our life skill. It is the tiger. Path of self mastery requires the courageous heart. The courageous heart shows strength in the face of fear. <laughs> we did another one Monday. I know, but it's time. Oh, it's time. <laughs> it's time. It's time. It's time. Courageous heart. Courageous heart shows strength in the face of fear. Have self mastery requires courageous heart. Courageous heart shows strength in the face of fear. Now to advanced and intermediate level students, the access training is dismissed.